Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to switch out a stage pin connector with an Edison connector. And so what you will need for that is you're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, um, some wire strippers and wire cutters. This is a two-in-one, so that's pretty good. And let's get started. Okay, so right here, if you see, you have the flathead screws. Go ahead and uh, take those out. Okay, so once you have the screws out, uh, that's what holds the casing together, the housing. So go ahead and take that out. Um, and there's going to be, hopefully, some heat shrink here. You don't really need that anymore, so you can just take that out. And then when you look inside, there's going to be three wires with uh, some terminals on them. Um, and there's going to be some screws that are holding those terminals in. There's a black wire, a green wire, and a white wire. Your black one is your negative, your green is your ground, and your white is your positive. So go ahead and take those out with a flathead screwdriver. Negative, ground, positive. Uh, cut off the terminals. So go ahead and use your wire cutters and snip those off. And go ahead and do the last one. Okay, so now that those are off, you're going to want to strip each wire. So this wire here is 16 gauge wire, and so depending on your strippers, you can go ahead and choose which one. Uh, sometimes for, for certain types of wire, you can either go with the bigger hole on there or the smaller hole. So I believe this is 16 gauge, so just go ahead and do that one. All right, so that's good. And now I'm going to take off the housing. OK. So you're going to want it to be about half an inch. So if it's a little bit longer than that, go ahead and just trim that down. And so when you're done uh, stripping your wire, you're going to want to twist it. Twisting the wire makes it easy, easier to manage when you're putting it into your next socket. So go ahead and do that for the other wires as well. You have your wires stripped and ready to go. Go ahead and open your new socket. So on here, you're going to need to use your um, Phillips screwdriver to open it up. Go ahead and do that. You should go ahead and open just like that. And then on here there's going to be three screws in there. The green is ground as well, or again, and then you're going to have a gold and a silver one. Um, if you have different colors, black should be negative and then white or red should be uh, positive. So, but neg or negative is going to be gold and then positive is going to be the silver color. So what you're going to want to do, first off is untighten these screws in here. So it has something to clip on. You're going to want to put that in first because if you don't, you're kind of screwed because you need to have that to complete your housing. So go ahead and do that. And so when that's a little bit loose, go ahead and put those wires into here. And then you can just have it slide down. So when you're finishing it, this up, it's good to go. So. Go ahead and put your ground wire into the little housing clamp there. Um, so right now it's like free moving, and then when you tie down your screw, it's going to clamp down that wire. So make sure your clamp is open, and then go ahead and tighten down your screw. Try to make it as tight as you can so it can't get free from the clamp. Okay, so you're going to want to have it open so you can see some space in there, some, some people are tight. So go ahead and bring it in and tighten it. Okay, so there's your, your finished product for when you clamp down your wires. So make sure that White is hooked up to silver, um, negative is hooked up to gold, and then your ground is hooked up to your green. Because if you mess that up, you're going to run into some problems.
So just make sure that none of the wires touching each other, and then you're good on that. So um, if you can see in there, there's the housings or the, the thread that needs to go in there um, for the other screws. So make sure that's lined up before you start tightening, and you should be good to go. And then you're going to want to use your, your Phillips for that. So that's pretty good there. And then last thing you want to do is tighten up those clamps right there. That makes it so the stress is not on the wires on the clamp, the stress is going to be right there. So anytime you tug on it, it's not going to be tugging on the clamps inside of the sprock, uh, inside of the socket. It's going to be tugging right there. So it helps with uh, making sure your your wires don't get your clamps there. So that's, so that's how you switch out a stage pants or an Edison plug.